let's start i am taking one very 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 important scenario okay this is one of the scenario which is already there okay so i'll open one problem ticket problem what is the meaning of problem problem when the person get the same issue when multiple persons get the same issue that time we raise the problem okay so what is the magnitude of multiple people so let's say to 10 people got the same issue can it be a yes. problem no no sir yes entire organization yes. occurrence of same entire uh, organization we can't wait for every if the incident day. require root cause analysis then it is a problem root cause analysis so uh, if issue occurs multiple times then it is also a problem right sir correct so how okay one second why i can't select it ma'am is there any okay so it can it cannot always be always be that um, it, those are also potential causes hmm. that cause the incidents and require a root cause analysis oh. for problems okay so root cause analysis one point okay multiple people one point someone said it's uh, entire organization okay uh, we can't wait for a uh, problem to come for every organization that is a that is a little uh, okay it's not a good one so see maybe all answers are correct but I, i let me discuss it so give me one second i want something on this table no not this one we, do, we are not going deeper of the problem to problem this one but we are just touching it for our for our particular topic now. okay so please note that point very good okay problem root cause analysis see okay issue incident management simple you got an issue you raise immediately an issue okay then multiple people are getting the same issue then it could be treated as a problem someone someone said it it's correct but it's not correct it's correct based on the magnitude based on the severity of it okay let's say password reset okay today uh, monday morning see in our uh, maybe if anyone are belongs to uh, first level of service desk na service desk or entry level of support maybe we call it a service desk only okay monday morning okay the number of tickets that comes as password reset is more compared to the other days of week is that correct anyone belongs to service desk here yes sir yes okay why because they try to log into their corporate login system and then they they may be due to weekend hangover they forgot it and they they immediately like, like password reset then service desk will get an incident and then they will fix they will go to ad and then they will un uncheck the lock okay and uh, there is these and all okay let's show because these and all gives little information for people okay i more i may show a few things might may deviate it but just try to understand okay it all required for uh, people who are entering into it but who are already there in it maybe for you it's little not required okay so this is an active directory where users information will store okay domain information computer information user information okay and then one of the user his name is j a m e he is trying to log in okay he forgot his password he tried three times okay it got locked right if it is locked na here on an active directory the account will be locked with a tick mark here so then he can't log in next time fourth time onwards if he is trying to log into the system it will say your account is locked get it unlocked then he needs to raise an incident to service now okay service desk team say please unlock my password this is a common issue and this is the one of the primary job of service desk people okay they will be defined with some 20 30 jobs and this could be one of the primary is that correct statement ma service desk person they will, uh, yes sir. they will unlock it okay apply okay and they will ask like please check after two minutes because it, it will take some time to sync it to reach to the client means domain and all okay now monday morning okay out of our 50000 users 100 
200 incidents are created for password reset. Now my point is, as it is more, it is for multiple people, can this be treated as a problem? Yes. No, sir. No, I don't think so. No, ma'am. <coughs> no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. So if it is yes, every Monday we need to raise a problem. Okay. And second thing is, okay, let's say we need to think like, okay, let's track it as a problem. Okay. Do, don't we know the root cause? Don't we know the solution? Second, someone said who required a root cause, then it could be treated as a problem. Okay, good point. Here, do you know the root cause? Do you know the solution of it? What is the root cause here? What is the solution of it? Do you know that? Don't you know that? We know that. We know that. Then why we will take it as a problem? You are getting it? So, yeah, yes. problem yes. is something like which occurred where we need to invest time and it is having a greater impact on the existing process. You can say, sir, password reset is also a problem. Okay. Because it is impacting multiple mass audience on Monday morning. Why can't you treat it as a problem? Don't you know the solution of it? We have the solution. Then why you treat it as a problem? You are getting it? Just there is a small difference here. You need to observe that difference more. Okay. One thing is, if you see one uh, one definition, if it is coming for multiple people, okay, it have an impact on crowd, then can be treated as a problem. Good. Let's stick to that. Then second thing is, which needed a root cause analysis and fix. Okay. For this particular requirement, for the particular example, we don't require any root cause analysis or a fix to cover and then solution, find the solution. So, keeping that second line, Okay, highlighting the second line, this cannot be a problem. Agree? Yes, no? Yeah, yes, sir. You are yes, all, all with me, ma? Is there any confusion yes. here? Okay, any questions here? Till this point? Sir, I mean, uh, if I am understanding correct, you, you are saying, so the, the issue which doesn't have a permanent solution, we can consider as a problem, right? Mm, but what if the issue came for one person? Okay. So then it is an incident, yes. right? For one person. Yes. So the definition. Oh, that one more thing. Two, one second. Two points in the def. See, the definition is one definition. Okay. A issue which causes a huge impact on the process, which also needed a root cause analysis. This is all one statement, not two statements. Either one don't satisfy, then it cannot be treated as a problem. Will it make sense? Yes. This is not uh, maybe the defined ITL uh, definition. I am just giving in a normal way of understanding. Okay. If you go to ITL documentation and then problem management, you may see something different. Maybe. Okay. But the meaning is little bit same. Yeah, Ajam, please. Your question, ma. Yes. Um, my point was that, sir, uh, a user cannot call and say, I am raising a problem ticket. We so it has to be a problem manager who would decide. Yeah, yeah, correct. That is, that is, we will see another example and then we will see that, that part also. Okay. Till this point, the definition of problem is clear, everyone. There is no here. Please confirm. Okay. Now, second thing is, okay, in this process, okay, one of the server is upgraded. Think like this. Okay, one server is upgraded, which is a critical server. Okay, and connecting to the server, there are 20 applications are there. We call them as clients. Correct? Okay, so because of the server upgrade on Saturday, okay, there is one functionality in those common 20 applications is not working. Maybe whenever they are launching to this particular one, some error is coming. Host 404 is not, host 404 is not connecting or something. So, the connection between client and server is failing because of this particular patch or upgrade. Okay, now this can be a problem. You all agree? Because why I'm saying this can be a problem is because it have a up magnitude. Second thing is we need to find out it is upgraded. These are failing. Okay. But we need to identify exactly why these are failing. So we need to find the root cause. We need to go for RP, RCA, root cause analysis and then find a fix and then apply the fix. Is that correct? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the second example. Now triggering. Okay, how a problem will be crea created? So, problem management, there are two types of problem man problems. Okay, uh, 
proactive okay just i don't i i didn't remember more types of problem. proactive something types of problem management this and all why i am discussing all this ma first of all we we need to cover our main topic okay proactive react to something is there types of problems problem management types of problem management. react to proactive okay let's make it very simple so say i am a project manager okay and i am analyzing my process okay and based on the trend based on the issues that we are seeing we may get one problem okay so we treat that particular issue as a problem and then we raise it proactively and then fix it no one raised it we only okay raise a problem feeling like this can be cleared it before it rises okay so that can be one problem or reactive problem so reactive problem is this one okay so generally it comes from audience where there is incident okay and multiple incidents will be coming so from incidents you go to this particular incident and then from here you create a problem just give me one second this is not incident right just give me one second so let's say i raised one issue okay bah. very good very good okay issue with application launch okay server connectivity error attached okay post not reachable i don't know what is exactly i'm just giving some blah blah okay so i am raising an incident like this okay so now the same thing is coming up monday morning flooded with so many incidents okay then the respective service disk manager will treat this as a problem and then first incident or second incident whatever they feel it they create a problem from that incident this point is clear ma this is the second way of second type of problem one is proactive that means you are creating it before the issue comes okay this is more like process process improvements okay, csi second thing is uh, the issue came as part of something someone reported it some some incident came okay then you identified there is a big big thing then you immediately converted that initial issue as a problem from incident you created a problem Oh, sir, last thing I want to add to the proactive problem is mm -hmm. they fix the problem once the change is implemented, right? That what if I don't have change management in this particular process? Don't take it, ma. That is a different topic because it will take another five minutes to explain. <laughs> okay, let it be. Problem is problem. Okay. So now, till this point, everyone clear, ma? Yes, sir. Everyone, any questions here? One one minute for mm -hmm. questions if we have it. No okay so now okay one incident is converted as a problem and we also have 50 more incidents with the stating the same thing what about those 50 incidents okay we go to the problem record and we add those problem record as attached incidents okay for the same issue where okay we are having the big issue okay also all uh, uh, these all other incidents also belongs to the same problem okay Give me one second. Why it is gonna okay? So this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, all these are also belongs to the same issue, same problem. You got it, ma? Someone did what? Okay, someone did. Uh, we created one user account with this one. Very good, nice. Okay, my my mine is like being used by other students also. Okay, so I need to get surprises sometimes. So this is like now created a problem and all the respective issue based incidents are getting attached to the problem why we are adding this step because we have everything in one place and we will say we are working on the problem we will say we are not working on the incident okay so now second thing is just adding okay so we, are, we don't require it for this particular one but as we are learning it problem management life cycle just also go through this when you get time today okay so what is problem management life cycle so when you okay so problem detection problem logging and linking with incidents very good problem categorizing so let's say what kind of what is the meaning of categorizing ma type of problem type what of is problem. it is so let's say what is it? Problem. Problem. 
<laughs> what is the criticality of the problem? Is that very, very, very severe? Okay. Maybe it have some limit, lighter, lighter thing. Okay. So that kind of thing. And then problem analysis and then problem solution. Okay. So if you see this one, maybe this is more good. New problem. Okay. Attach all of them. Root cause analysis. So find what exactly the issue, where exactly the issue. Okay. In the root cause analysis, also find the fix and then apply the fix. Okay. And then move the fix. You are clearing it, ma? See, in every page, it may the definitions, the steps may change it, but the core meaning is same. You are understanding it. Each one will have their own. Yes. Okay. So, find, identifying it, grouping it, and then RCA root cause analysis. That means it, you understand it, and then get the fix and apply the fix and solve the fix, solve the issue, solve the problem. Okay. So, these are the life cycle of problem management. Okay, good. Now. From tech, so this is one part. This is social class.